This video was requested by this user on TikTok. Today we're looking at the Firefox logo. We're gonna talk about the good and the bad. Let's go. Firefox, they rebranded in 2019, and today we're gonna look at their rebranded logo, talk about what we like, what we don't like, but before we do that, I wanna leave a little disclaimer. I'm not actually gonna redesign this logo in the video. I don't have time to concept out a bunch of Firefox logos and create them in Adobe Illustrator, and they're not paying me to do it. So as a learning opportunity for you guys, we're gonna take this logo, we're just gonna look at what's working and what's not working in this logo design, and as we start to look at these logos, you're gonna to start to identify things in your own logo marks that maybe you could do differently to help them become a little bit more effective. The Firefox rebrand was done in 2019 by a studio called Remotion. And just so we're clear, right off the bat, the logo that they have now, this logo here, this is a lot better than the Firefox logo that they were using. So the things I really like, first of all, this logo is a lot more modern than what they had. And we kind of just talked about that a little bit. Simplicity wise, it's way less complex. And we've talked about this a lot on the channel, but simplicity is your best friend when designing logos. So it gets rid of a lot of complexity and that's a good thing. The next thing the Remotion designers did really well was they created a visual identity system that matched for all of the icons. So all the iconography and logos for this brand, they all look very cohesive. Having a cohesive brand is a big part of having a successful brand. So kudos to them for that. The last thing that I really like about this logo and probably my favorite thing about just all of this in general is the color palette. You'll notice with the redesign, they actually redid the colors for the Firefox logo and it looks really sharp. The orange, red, and purple is a really dynamic color palette and it's not really tapped in the market space that they're in. So this was a really neat idea and I'm glad that they changed it away from the blue that they had. If you enjoy these logo critique videos, go ahead and do two things for me really quickly. First of all, go ahead and hit that like button. That way I know that this is great content that you wanna see on the channel and I should keep making more videos like this. And then secondly, go ahead and drop a comment and let me know what logos you wanna see me critique next and we'll talk about them together, all right? All right, now really quickly, let's talk about some things that I just don't think are working well in this logo design. The main thing that really bothers me about this logo, Mark, is the fact that I feel like they lost the element of the fox. Now, they didn't so much in the browser icon itself, but in the overall brand identity for Firefox, I just felt like, the fox is really lacking here. Now that's really gonna come into play when we talk about the next thing that I don't like about this logo. But for right now, having just the fire kind of makes me feel like we're missing something when I read the name. So when you have them in conjunction, you're like, oh, logo mark, fire, swooshy thing, that's cool. And then you're like, fire fox. And then you are thinking, where's the fox? It just doesn't have good association with the word itself. So that's the first thing that I really don't like about this. The second thing is the overlapping colors, particularly the gradients. We have a lot of gradients in this logo and that's fine to give your logo gradient treatments. It's a super trendy thing to do right now. So they're kind of keeping up with the trends there, but the overlapping colors, the fact that there's so many different colors on this logo makes it a little too complicated in my opinion. If you've watched my video on how not to design a logo, which I'm gonna link right there, you'll know that overlapping colors is something that I have a big problem with. And I talk about it a lot on this channel, but when you have overlapping colors, the design loses something when it goes to a one color design. So in this case, this is the official one color design from Firefox. I downloaded it from their brand guideline and it just seems to lose something from the original mark. In fact, not only does it just lose something, but I believe it loses its entire fire aspect. When I see this design in just one color, I really think it looks more like a wave than fire. I think it looks like something I would see on a surfboard. And that is not what Firefox is about. In fact, water would be the opposite of fire. So I just don't think that the mark is very strong when it comes to one color. And that's why I would avoid using the overlapping colors. To me, this is another reason why it needs the fox. Because if it had the fox, it would be a lot easier to tell that that's a fox and a foxtail. And it 
wouldn't look so much like an ocean wave. Now, really quickly, I just want to look at the browser icon. Another problem with the overlapping colors here, like we talked about earlier, browser icons much better with the updated version. But when you go to that one color, and again, this is the official one color design from their website, they have this weird little part where they tried to complete the circle to kind of give you that illusion, even though it's in one color, and it doesn't look very strong to me. The negative space just doesn't uphold the same integrity as when it has the color. And whenever you're designing a mark and it doesn't have the same effect in one color as it does with lots of colors, I think you've done something wrong. That's my really quick critique of the Firefox logo. I hope that you found it helpful and that you enjoyed this content. If you did and you want to continue to learn more about logo design and branding, go ahead and click one of the links on the screen and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the videos I have coming out. Thanks and I'll see you guys in the next video.